between the age of 10 to 15 whose weight was 150 kg so even the pediatric guidelines are becoming aggressive any child more than 120% of the 95 percentile should consider bariatric surgery because if a child gets diabetes at an early age complications of diabetes fatty liver sleep apnea can be seen in about 15 to 20 years which are serious complication if the disease starts early the complications would happen earlier at age and the incidence is increasing this is a boy treated by me almost 16 years back he was a seven and a half year old and you can see here now he is recorded in BBC as one of the most successful and youngest boy to undergo bariatric surgery. So even in pediatric age group, if the, if the weight is more than 100, there is black discoloration, child cannot follow, you should investigate if there is high, high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, fatty liver, sleep apnea, you should consult an obesity expert, maybe a bariatric surgeon because a stitch in time can definitely save nine. This is the same lady. Now, what I am going to talk about is very important and interesting. Over years, slowly, body's physiology, body's metabolism compensates. As age increases, metabolic rate goes down. There are incidences. There can be pregnancy, accidents, medication, which can induce weight gain. The slow weight gain after bariatric surgery is not uncommon. This girl underwent bariatric surgery, delivered two kids, over here slowly started increasing her weight and after two deliveries, five years after two deliveries, she underwent second stage bariatric surgery and the last picture is after second procedure, it is not when she was young. So even the second stage bariatric procedure is standard of care, if someone regains weight after bariatric surgery after a few years, it is not their fault, it is body's genetics, physiology, hormones which behave that way and induce it and that is how second stage bariatric surgery can be an example. Back in 2007, we did one of the largest study in the world whether to know whether diabetes can be reversed with metabolic surgery. This study received the best worldwide research award by American Diabetes Association and received a Vivian Fonseca Scholar Award. So those who are not very obese but have some grade of obesity, have prominent belly, who have uncontrolled diabetes, may be requiring insulin or in spite of medication, diabetes is progressive, giving rise to nerve pain, have eyes are affected or if there is nephropathy or there is kidney disease, all these complications can be reversed or can be controlled and diabetes can be in remission without medication by using what is called metabolic surgery for type 2 diabetes which is a type of bariatric procedure. Needless to say, bariatric surgery is also known as anti-aging and I am going to show you an example. If you see in today's era, a girl, a lady gets married. This is a picture after two deliveries and this is when she is menopausal. This is how we see the evolution going on. However, this is a picture of the same lady at the age of 30, 29 on the left hand side and at the age of 30 on the right hand side. You can see biochemically her diabetes disappeared, her blood pressure disappeared, cholesterol disappeared. We treated her hernia and gallbladder at the same keyhole procedure. I must tell you, bariatric surgery is a keyhole procedure on stomach or intestines just to reroute the food passage in such a way that hormones which govern obesity are normalized, controlled and the brain gets some message to have more satiety, excess cravings are reduced and all fat deposits in the body are used for energy and the transformation can be as much as this. You can see in this photograph, it's almost looking like a lady who came to me and on the right hand side, you can see a transformation, a young girl seen after three years of surgery. So obesity is also known as an aging procedure and an open bariatric surgery can be anti-aging treatment. There can be different procedures, sleep gastrectomy, gastric bypass based on each one's indication. So I must tell you, I am here at PD Hinduja Khan, available for your question answer. You can even post your questions even now in the chat box and I am here to answer your questions. I must say, this is era of evidence-based treatment. Whatever is the scientific guideline, 
anyone with a body mass index of more than 32.5 or you can say an excess weight of more than 20 kg with some diseases is eligible and is qualified for metabolic and bariatric surgery and if the body mass index is more than 40 or if the excess weight is more than 30 35 kg i think this is the best treatment even though we hear about medications newer medications which are available